I took a spontaneous day trip to Padova with my one year old on a Monday and public holiday in November. We ended up having a very exciting few hours of sightseeing in this compact, walkable and authentic city. I was surprised to learn that Padova is 430 years older than Rome. My favorite part was the heart of the city, where the three piazzas meet, each with beautiful 360 views and unique character. A market with fresh produce and flowers on Piazza del Erbe was a feast for the senses and I wondered if the local Piazza Doves realized how lucky they are to call it their home. There were ample restaurants and terraces to choose from. Around the same vicinity as the piazzas are various narrow, cobbled, carless streets with overhead porticos, including the well-preserved Jewish ghetto area. It was fun to spot subtle wall art and some people visit especially to find the pieces of art around town. Strolling around these streets and heading towards Via Roma and the famous Prata del Val was another highlight of the day. After all of the narrow streets bustling with people and bicycles, the openness and space of the Prata del Val was striking. Moving closer, I saw the body of water that was lined with two rows of white statues all around the circle depicting influential people throughout history who were in some way connected to Padova. I can imagine that this would be many students' favorite spot for a breath of fresh air. I saw a massive dome church close by and naturally walked towards it, crossing the perfect little bridge with four Pope statues seemingly blessing anyone walking below them. On a road leading straight out of the Prata del Val is one of the main reasons many Catholic pilgrims visit Padova, the Basilica St. Anthony in the Piazza del Santo. It's a truly dramatic building with two tall pointy towers and domes. You're not allowed to take photos inside, but I can assure you that it is very dramatic and beautiful as well, worth going in. I focused so much on the massive basilica that I completely overlooked its neighboring world heritage site, Oratorio de San Giorgio.
time we would have surely spent it in the Botanical Gardens, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, due to it being the oldest botanical garden still in its original place. One of the best and oldest Italian universities is also in Padova. If you're very into the art and culture scene, rather visit outside of Mondays or public holidays so that you won't be met by closed doors. Unfortunately, I was unable to secure a spot in the main attraction, the precious Scrovegni Chapel. Be sure to book in advance. Next to the Scrovegni Chapel is a lovely green space with Roman ruins, where you can also relax with some drinks. We found a very elaborate toddler play area bambini in this park, which is always welcome when sightseeing with a little human. Although I'd probably explore new Italian cities before returning to Padova, the city is well worth a visit and it's easy to access the main attractions on foot in a day. Keep an eye out for more videos on the Italian cities of Venice, Ferrara and Bologna.